Swoop Search is about how users, whether they're non-technical or technical, are able to discover what's in a data set or what's in the information and then act upon it in an effective and efficient manner. And we really try to focus on four key tenets, the first of which is allowing the user to build a query, whether it's complex or simple, from scratch and implement it without ever having to write a single line of code. And that query can go across the different querying languages and then query different structures of data or different database formalisms. And then the second tenant is once you've built that query and you've released it from its programmatic you know, constructs, how do you then make it personal to the actual individual that's creating it? And what we do is we allow the individual to weight the different parameters within the query, both from a direct, ranked, one, two, three, four, et cetera, list of parameters, but also relative to each other so that they can draw the correlations and associations within the query that they see right there in real time. And by doing so, Swoop builds an algorithm specific to that person and that query that then is able to go and find correlations within the database and bring back the most relevant information that previously may have been hidden or just unknown to the individual. So the third tenant then builds upon once you've built that query, where does it go? How does it run within the data? And what Swoop does is it transforms that query to run across the full infrastructure. So if you had a potentially a relational database, a graph database, a Hadoop cluster, and so forth, we would transform that query to be able to run across all three and then bring back results and normalize those results so that you didn't have to go and build a parameter or a query set for each of those different databases. Additionally, the, parameter, the parameters that we can search across are both of structured and unstructured. So that one query can go across the structured areas as well as the unstructured areas of data sets. And then lastly, the fourth tenet is the ability to actually put analytics onto the query. So that when you do an actual query within the data, you can also configure an analytics set that's going to then analyze your results. So that before the user ever gets back a set of results for the query, those results have been put through analytics, and then the user sees a ranked set of results, and then a set of analytics comprising of what's actually in the results and what's relevant to that query. And by doing the, uh, these four different tenants all from one platform, the user is able to there, thereby discover what's in the information, analyze what's in the information. Uh, based on that analysis and what they've discovered, either evolve the query to look further or to look differently or to bridge disparate topics and then eventually come to a conclusion that's effective and is going to solve some type of mission critical question that needs a solution. Swoop Search has chosen to work with the Proliant M800 cartridge from Texas Instruments uh, in conjunction with the HP Moonshot server because of a number of different key uh, architectural facets of it. Firstly, the ability to have these eight DSPs in tandem with uh, four ARM A15s working on one cartridge and then potentially 45 of those devices in one server allows us to do a number of really interesting things with the queries that uh, Swoop builds. Whether that's adding additional parameters to the query and using it, you know, a much more comprehensive query from scratch and then allowing those DSPs to make it computationally uh, efficient and also from a performance standpoint get to a result quickly so you're not waiting on the answer. The DSPs are an excellent uh, computational platform to accomplish that. But then additionally using the arms to then manage the distribution of tasks across the full server chassis uh, is what we have found to be a very uh, performance enhancing capability. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to take a query and distribute it across all these cartridges in the Moonshot server chassis and then bring back the results in a time effective manner that allows us to do new things with analytics, allows us to add uh, comprehension onto the query itself, uh, and we found it to be a really uh, performance enhancing uh, architecture.